There's no way people made this though, right? So, okay, I, I will say did. this. I know they did. Well, like our previous distinctions we made between romance and erotica, there's difference between like fanfic and erotic fanfic. So, uh, I thought it would be maybe even appropriate this time to just, because it's, you know, the morning period, to do some less erotic fanfic. Because there is a, like, I think this might be unsurprising, but there is a lot of just general fan fiction of Royals. It, <sighs> there's, I had to sort through so many entries that were just, like, Prince uh, William and uh, Kate, the one? Yeah. Just, like, having a good time. There was no. one about them having a good time in Canada, and they, like, go to an unnamed concert, which in my head is definitely a Rush concert. Oh. And, yeah, it's, like, it's all very just... It's it's everything you would expect from the kind of people online talking about how sad they are. Uh, but before we get into what I did... Well, I mean, I have a few options. I don't know. I'll read you the ones I thought we shouldn't do. So we have one where uh, I thought it would be kind of really like on brand for us for the role playing we do, but it was actually just very long and boring where like a bunch of kids are playing D and D and, or do they go LARPing and then they meet princess Diana and then like they go save the Royal family with her in real life. I don't know. It was very boring. I don't think it's worth reading. And, uh, Oh God, this screen is so far away. I'm just like, I'm, I'm realizing I was a fool to not even have considered this, but now that I'm aware of the concept of people doing fanfic for like the Royals, it is open to my mind to like how much horrible. Okay. It's like a particle beam hitting my brain right now. Yeah. Well, like, again, I think you'll feel better if I tell you about the, some of the stuff that we're not reading, uh, like this person. So do you know what shipping is? Oh yeah. Wait, well, okay. Let me see if I, I feel like I know what shipping is. It's when there's two characters, let's say in like the Simpsons and you, you want them to, to get together in the end. And there is a fan base. You're like, Oh, we ship Homer and uh, Lenny or whatever. And right. you're hoping that they will one day have a, have a romance uh, arc in the show. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Nice. No, you nailed it. Uh, it that's so good. I won't even make a joke, about like how no shipping is actually how you get goods from place to place. We'll just keep going. Oh. So, <laughs> This person shipped uh, Princess... Wait. If you had to ship two members of the like extended royal family, who would they be? Like, my, like freight shipping? Family. Now I'm confused. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm messed up. Like, <laughs> either, either, one, either, I guess you answer both questions. Who would you ship far away and who would you ship with each other? Oh, God. Prince Andrew, please far away. Which... Oh, my God. I'm going to have to Google which one is which. Prince Andrew is like the really... He's the Epstein one. Okay. Yeah. Thankfully, I found true. nothing <laughs> on him. I don't think he's that popular, honestly. I, I should thank Christ that that is not, okay. Right. But like, who could who could I ship? What's that possibilities here? So I, I feel like are you guys as Canadians exposed to like the same level of, of royal family bullshit as I mean, even in America, it's like on the news and shit. But oh, yeah. do you have to hear about this shit all the time? So are you like oh, really yeah. familiar with the with the canon? If yeah, so yeah, because so, the thing is, we are part. Sorry, no, I'm gonna stop talking over Nicole. I was gonna say, yeah, we are still technically part of the Commonwealth, and so not only do we have to hear about it on the news and shit, but we also have to hear all of our grandparents and parents uh, complain a bit about it. So yeah, awesome. I. Uh, and we have to, to name shit after them every time they visit. That's awesome. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, I uh, had a conversation with my grandma the other day where she told me that she thinks that Meghan Merkel is um, conspiring to destroy the monarchy so it's fucking neat okay <laughs> huh yeah so I, I feel like you guys are aware of more of the potential character pool that we can form ships from but i'm aware of the, their corgis can i ship corgis together yeah i'm aware of uh megan markle don't know who her husband is but they're uh, already together so you can ship those people yeah you're not close to guessing do you have any guesses nicole um, you know what? I'm honestly not that familiar with the extended royal family either, yeah, but I'm going to say. Okay. Well, they were shipping Diana and Prince Philip, so. Oh, 
Wait, well, which one is Prince Philip? Prince Please Philip is me. the queen's dead husband. <laughs> Prince Philip is the halibut looking motherfucker. No. no. <laughs> he's, okay, so he's no. the one that. I mean, no. to be fair, they have a lot no. of this, common. There you go. No, this is no, why we had this no, on here. No, 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 no. Yeah. No. So, that, okay, that was the second worst Prince Philip fanfic I found. <laughs> I yeah. don't know if I want to so. ask what the first one was. Oh, I, I mean, I'm still going to tell you, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Just so, to, yeah. like, and in fairness, yeah, because they are both like I don't know more the married in variety. They are like it's sort of that like that that stepmom porn exception where it's like, well, they're not related, but uh, yeah. Uh, no, the most upsetting one was this specific blogger who had like a particular Prince Philip fetish, and Oof. wrote this extraordinarily graphic. Uh, piece like no a, a whole bunch of pieces on it was like self insert royal family erotica where he was sucking off prince philip and, no no yeah. no <laughs> this can't exist this can't exist and i'm refusing to it believe was, that it exists this was still like you know how people write their fanfic for like existing sure. properties so this was fanfic for the crown the tv show no yeah and the person took great pains to say okay. like okay in this ship you are not picturing handsome actor matt smith as Prince Philip, you are picturing real life Prince no. Philip. No, they made clear that part. They had to specify that. Part. They meant young Prince Philip, but it's much funnier if I just put up this picture. Was young Prince over Philip and hot? Over and over. Uh, you can look it up and decide for yourself. We should keep moving this discussion. We haven't even gotten to our erotica yet. You just drop a bomb like that on somebody and just think you can just walk away. From <laughs> you. The thing is, sometimes, you know, our the people on this show, guests, hosts, GMs, mm -hmm. get upset about the stuff we read on it, but you can't even imagine the stuff I read just trying oh, to find I'm sure stuff you, for it. That's, I can't ever be mad because I know that you've forced yourself to endure any t 10 times as bad. This See, this one is kind of wholesome. This was like um, Queen Elizabeth is just really sad because Prince Philip got uh, captured by terrorists and Whoa. then makes it back and they talk about how they missed each other. But yeah, it was oh, quite the that's kind of nice. Uh, yeah, okay, so that that's most of it. There's uh, there's a couple, there's two things from one author here, and I thought, because honestly, I found really nothing for Queen Elizabeth. Like, I, I think I found one extremely ironic one. Like, they knew what they were doing. I'm like, that's not fun. They're just, they're just doing bits. They're doing a goof. I need something sincere. And there was, yeah, there's, people are not sincerely horny for the Queen, but... Uh, and this is appropriate because 